Oh, Jeremy. How much pain and suffering you could have prevented. Emily? What are you doing? Detective. Uh, how is your investigation going? Well, I still have no clue where Jeremy is, but I think I know why he's hiding. This place is full of lunatics, planning to perform some kind of ritual tonight. Well, that sounds ridiculous. Or rather, would have just a day ago. It gets worse. I have reason to believe they killed anyone who didn't want to go along with the plan. Detective? Have you encountered any monsters tonight? I just told you, I think they killed people. Beauregard, the author, Perosi, the singer, Mr. Waits, the clerk, Mr. Chance, the gardener, they're all missing. No, I mean, have you fired your gun tonight? Of course not. They wouldn't just kill outsiders like that. It would bring too much attention. But you should keep your eyes open. So you haven't seen anything strange been anywhere else? What are you trying to tell me, Emily? Are you in some kind of danger? Let me drive you back to New Orleans. I think I have enough. You know, at least get the police to take a look at this case. No, I'm fine. Thank you, detective. I'll find your uncle, Miss Hartwood. Just stay out of trouble. Alright, welcome back guys to Dark Man's Contracts. Alrighty then. Let's just view this empty page. Ah, now we can actually... He must first acknowledge psychological trauma in order to proceed. The lying must stop, so we can break through the barriers of self-deceit. Finally, temper manic behavior. Okay. No. He must first acknowledge... No, no, no. Medicine has failed me. Nothing can be done to dispel the hardwood curse. Only the sacrificial dagger may release the despair from Jacob's eye. Yet, doing so would be the doom of Dacetto. Let this curse of mine be a weapon for once. I accept your demands, oh crawling chaos. Build your prison around this godforsaken hospital. When evil has been starved, I will stay buried forever. Alrighty oh, then. Uh, wait a minute. We have an objective, right? Oh, we are in the attic. It was almost night when Emily found herself back at Dacetto. What exactly had she been doing? And what was Detective Conby talking about? Did any of her findings make any sense? All she knew was that she wanted to figure out what the three steps to the contract entailed and how this was connected to Dr. Gray. So we need to break into Dr. Gray's office and find out what he knows. Okay, Mr. Doctor. Right, so we are in the attic. I think, yeah, we're supposed to go down. Oh, wait a minute. No, don't wait any minute, just, just go down. Man, it has been a while since we came back to the set too. Right, let me save the game. Alright, like we said, we have to go down and see what's going on. Yeah, I think some... Rough up there. Oh, wow. So this is closed, we need to go down a little bit more. Yeah, I think the game sometimes, just sometimes, not, that's, uh, not all the time, but sometimes, it does stutter a lot. And I try my best not to have my, my videos being laggy. That's not my fault, it's the game. If we can just get rid of Jeremy, everything will go back to normal. That reminds me. I saw Miss Emily earlier. You remember her? You know she's Jeremy's niece. She's looking for him. That's right. She's helping us. In her own way. As long as she don't stand in the way of the mother of a thousand young. <laughs> I don't think she knows who cares about that. She just here for Jeremy. <laughs> I'll be more worried about that detective Carmen fella. 
You've been snooping around asking all kinds of questions. God, it hurts. I wish you would stop doing that. Gives me the heebie-jeebies. Okay, what's going on here? The orderlies, Baptiste and Lottie, were back at Deceto as well. Like pieces of Emily's past haunting her. She couldn't figure out if they were on her side or not. And what was Lottie suffering from? Well, clearly we don't know what is going on exactly. But of course, that lady doesn't seem right. And everything in the house doesn't seem right. And this is closed. Alright, it has been a while since I checked the map. Ah, okay. So if we really want to go to this room... Cassandra? No. We need to go to the dining room. From the piazza to, to the stair hall to the reception and then moving on from that way. What's going on here? Why all of this stuff? Oh, okay. I'm not sure if things are good for us. What is going on? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. It's the library, right? It's blocked. The hell just like... There is something going on. Oh, this is new. Preparations for St. John's. We must have faith that Jeremy's pact with the Dark Man is a bluff. If we are lucky, our visitors will find him and prove it's all nonsense before night falls. What is true is our attempt to call on her. Too many things have happened for this evening to be in vain. Think of Jack and Cassandra. Even Perosi, whose circumstances I can't understand. Grace is a goat without horns. She knows it and will play the role. You must talk to your brother, Batiste. I worry that he will fail us. Mrs. Thompson. Well, 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 Mrs. Thompson, what's going on? Can you tell us what's going on, or should I have, like, to really do this my on my own? Alright, so... On the WC, the toilet, there is something going on. There has to be something. Nothing? Wait a minute. Broken spectacles. Okay, those are glasses, but yeah, yeah. So, whatever. Okay, we need to go to the library, I think. was the only thing left for us unless we want to go down up uh, but uh, yeah this one is blocked so the library yeah you see that kind of stuttering like a small lag whatever lunacy and uh, the astarte artists colony lunacy and the astarte artist colony a monograph by Yael Klein in early 1909, the old Derseto plantation outside of New Orleans was turned into an artist's colony. Three famous European artists rented the house and the surrounding land from the owner, the Ledoux family. The colony was chiefly run by Sebastian Cortez, who was playfully dubbed the captain by his collaborators, William Argus and Heinrich Kassel. The colony existed for six years, until one day, all twelve members disappeared without a trace. It is widely believed that their disappearance is connected to the disastrous hurricane that passed through on September 29, 1915, but nothing truly supports this claim. 
What is known is their frequent participation in New Orleans nightlife, their love for hosting parties, and their elaborate contributions to the Mardi Gras parades as the pirates of Panchartrin. Accounts of their lifestyle can be found in almost every gossip column. It can effectively be summed up as carefree and bohemian. In late June 1909, the name Astarte first appeared in the newspapers. Cortez said the name came to him as he was painting. There is never any claim to knowing about the ancient Phoenician fertility goddess with the same name before this time. His fellow colonist Heinrich Castle did know, because he later produced sculptures that show clear references to ancient idols of the goddess. It's impossible to know for sure how this name suddenly made an appearance, but it is interesting because of their Seto's history. Okay, let's read the second page. If you guys don't really like these, I'm so sorry, but I must listen to these. They are very important. They give us a story and everything. Even the name Derseto is the Greek name of a Syrian fertility goddess. In the case of naming the plantation, Derseto was certainly not an accident. We know that Elia Pickford intended to build a temple for his cult, for he had distributed pamphlets two years prior to the purchase of the land, advertising his intentions. His followers were estimated to be almost a hundred men and women, mostly sailors, maroons, and Cajuns, when the plantation was built. To outsiders, Dorsetto registered as an ordinary slave plantation, which enabled Pickford and his flock to remain hidden for decades. The official story is that the cult lasted until 1862, when the Union Army came and burned down the plantation and scattered all who lived there. Following the Civil War, new people started to congregate in the ruins of Dorsetto to invent a new fertility goddess, the Shub Nigrath. As much as Dorsetto is a particular name to have heard of, it's not entirely uncommon among the learned. Astarte is equally known and could have been subconsciously chosen by well-read artists. Shub Nigrath is, on the other hand, very uncommon. Almost impossible that anyone in Louisiana would have heard that name. The name is referenced only in rare books like Unausprechlichen Kulten and the Necronomicon, and is believed to be a bastardization of Arabic words meaning pertaining to the dark young. The few paragraphs printed on the goddess are so upsetting that no one in their right mind would want to build a religion resting on such qualities. The Shub Nigarath cult was hard to get rid of, but it is believed that despite the police jailing and killing several cultists over the years, the main culprit in the cult's demise is the cult itself, which seems to line up with every instance of cult activity on Darseto's grounds. When Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army arrived, he described the people at Darseto as malnourished and maniacal. As much as the army tried to save them, they fought back with fervor as if nothing was going to stop them from slowly destroying themselves. While the disappearance of the Astarte Artis colony remains a mystery, the recurring motif seems to suggest that their fate involved lunacy and a hunger for self-sacrifice to that fertility goddess with a thousand names. Interesting. All right, let's go out. Uh, yeah. These take a long time actually to read and everything. So I do apologize, guys. I really do. Some people don't really like those, but I enjoy listening to every aspect of the story. It's intriguing, especially when you start to understand uh, the story and everything relevant to it. Do we need to go there? Oh, we have another set of story. Opera playbill. Oh no, it's a collectible. Are we done with this room? I think. Hmm. I hear Grace, the little kid. Probably. So that's locked. We need a key and everything. I think the only thing is. Like, we can go down, but we need to go up. Piedza. Yeah, but we can't go through the piazza. 
So we need to go down here. And then move up. Okay. I guess that's the only option. Let us check the map. Map is unavailable here. Wait a minute. Keep our secrets. Mrs. Thompson, I understand the last week has been busy. Under these circumstances, I find it important to remind you that Rosetto's concerns are not a public matter, nor is it something that should upset you. Please continue your excellent work and don't spend a thought on the death of Perosi or, more importantly, the suicide of Cassandra Beauregard. They should mean nothing to you or the staff. I rely on your loyalty and trust that your close kinship with the Tabois siblings will keep Tercetto's secrets hidden. Dr. Gray. Okay, what's going on with Dr. Gray and everything? Okay. It looks haunting in this light. You're right, you're right. This doesn't see feel right. And the map. Okay. I think we should just go over here. Why does everything feel different here? It feels different to s We we need to go up this way. So it was blocked. I don't know who did that, but it's okay. Okay, what the hell was that? Not something weird. Where are we supposed to go? Yeah, this way to the reception, right? And from here... Yep, we go here. I guess this is the place, right? Mr. Waits must have had a spare key to Dr. Gray's office, but where? I don't know, lady. I don't know the combination. Wait, maybe I do. I think it's this. But at the very end, it says nine one three. So six, seven, eight, nine. So if we go, I guess nine, and then one. Three, yes! It worked! Nine, one, three! Okay. Okay, we've got the key, yes, to doctor's... Oh, and an empty room letter. The okay. last guest in the empty room suffered from severe maladaption. I must write this down, because if I understand the condition sufficiently, it could make me deny this fact at a later date. And there is reason for me to think... I may come to suffer the consequences from this dysfunction, as some who came in contact with the guest seemed to adopt a new world view in which everything was predetermined but broken. Upon accepting this world view, some memories became unmanageable and later rejected. I do not know what this means. I cannot even remember the fate of the guest. I think they were simply misplaced one day and forgotten. Uh, just like all documents pertaining to this guest, they have all been destroyed, or they never existed in the first place. Who wrote this? There has never been a guest in the empty room. What? You're contradicting your own self, man. Yeah, the, the solution for that, I found the thing in case I did not show it. This paper here 
you go and check it, this why I want to say these are important. Date of admission at the very bottom, you will see 913. That's what I actually did for that safe, for the combination, combination at least. Now we do have this. Can we actually save the game here? Okay, let's just open this and maybe later I'll see what's going on. Here we are, Dr. Gray's office. Now let's see if we can find some answers. Alrighty then, we're back to the game. It has been a while, I stopped recording for a few days now. Actually, so what do we have here? We have Cassandra things, okay. I have finished tidying up Miss Beauregard's belongings. I will leave it to you to contact her agent and have them collect her things. I found one of Grace's drawings she might want back, along with this key in her room, which I believe you've been looking for, Mrs. Thompson. Alrighty then. Oh, we have uh, France. Oh, it's the map for the. Oh, I, I get it. I think it's the map for the. I have seen this board before and, and everything. Okay. What do you have here? We have certain things. One of them is this Jeremy's treatment. Dearest Dr. Manzetti, I find myself in a losing battle with my patient. As I've disclosed in my previous letter, his delusions have him completely captured. It's bad enough that he is torturing himself with paranoia, but his madness turns out to be quite persuasive to others, effectively laying the ground for mass delusion. I am writing to you in hope that you can give me some guidance. Beyond my ambition to avoid devastating surgery on my patient, I have grown worried about my own defenses. The words of my patient are deranged, Yet they often resonate with something primitive within me. I have tried photographing his brain with x-rays. It was surprisingly difficult to get good results. Dark blotches on the plates kept obscuring all details. My patient looked at the bad plates and cried out in terror, telling me the dark areas was the shadow of the worm eating him from inside. I could not see anything out of the ordinary. I hope this is a sign that my mind is not as receptive to the madness as I had feared. After further inquiry, my patient described the shadows inside his mind as some kind of chthonic monstrosity that wants to undermine his sanctuary. This is clearly a reference to a place he calls Teroea, a sort of library or convent that works as a psychological haven. With this imaginary haven threatened by this Chthonian, he has now constructed another, less pleasant hiding spot. Lately, he has been bringing up a metaphor of a steamboat that has run aground, that he feels like he needs to start the engines and reverse, but he is afraid that the hole in the hull would cause the whole ship to sink. I've been watching him turn this metaphor into reality for the last week. He knows it's made up, but he is doubling down, trying to make it a real memory. I feel certain that this is my chance to break through the barriers of his self-deceit. Okay. So we need to look at for Jeremy's x-ray plates in the infirmary. We need to go to the infirmary. Emily felt lost as she entered the office of Dr. Gray, much like she had the last time she was here. She began to question Yeah, but I think I already read that. Here is the thing, I don't like the game telling me what to do. Old school? Yeah, it's old school. I thought it's modern, so that's the reason why I'm checking that. Taking the keys with us. Stairwell. Oh, okay. Alright, so we're having new keys. Right, let's check the map to verify where should we go. Well, there is the clerk's office. Doctor, We haven't finished with Dr. Gray's office. We're inside the area and it's still red. It's not. It's not complete. It's still. Uh, we're still exploring the area, but we need to go to the infirmary, which I have no clue where that would be. Oh, maybe he, oh the laboratory. I haven't seen that part of the game. Okay. Well, the stairwell. Uh, yeah, we should go to the attic. 
is that important? I, I believe so. So, everything here has been explored to an extent, I think. Yeah, I don't see anything else except there is a door in front of us and the door behind us to the left here. Ah, okay. So it basically leads you here. Wait a minute. What do we have here? Oh, the flying Dutchman. Oh, the flying Dutchman. That's actually very okay. So we have this is when it takes you, when it makes you worse. Okay. We have Jack in the box. Roast Chach. I don't know what is that. The flying Dutchman. Okay. What a terrible thing to recognize that your betterment was an illusion. That you are so infatuated by the virtue of struggling that despite all your hard work, you made no real efforts to ever become well. Or that the treatment becomes such an obsession that instead of letting your wounds heal over time, you tear at the flesh in the hope that it will heal better and faster. If only it would bleed in the way you wanted. Do we ever become well? What do you think, Dr. Gray? Hmm, yeah, what do you think, Dr. Gray? Do we ever become well? Do we ever become well? Well, this one is... R okay. Ah! What the hell just happened? What? Of a sinking city, like a sinking, whatever you want to call it, a sinking. Um... What the hell just happened there? We have this place. It still says like it's not 100% explored. What do you want me to explore here more than this? You probably will come back to this one and later on, right? Just go actually. I don't know man. Feels weird. Dude, I always think there is a door there. Okay. This should be explored. No. The game is telling me like there is still a puzzle laying around around here. I don't see it. Maybe my game is broken. This game has been stuttering for a long time. Alright, so we don't want to open that door because we already did that. No one is there? Okay. Let's just go actually. Stuttering, yeah. You see that kind of stuttering? But I think uh, some kind of breathing. Anyways, we are supposed to go... Well, it says that we need to go to the infirmary, which has nothing to do with us. I don't know, where is this infirmary? We can go to the basement, right? Wait a minute. Okay, that's not going to be open. Can we open this one? I need the key. Of course you need the key. I think... This goes all the way up. I think I know where this actually goes. I have a feeling that I know exactly where this goes. Yep. Hey, little lady, how's your evening been going? Ups and downs, I suppose. <laughs> I hear that. We all live in the life of an elevator operator. Are you alright, sweetie? Do you want to see my mask, miss? I'm making it for St. John's. Uh, how did you... Is that supposed to be my... Ow! What the... <sighs> you should learn your place, little girl. Why are you acting this way? What did I ever do to you? Grace! 
What's going on with that girl? That's weird as hell. The mask had reminded Emily of her father. It didn't seem like a chance connection, but a purposeful reference made by that child. How could Grace have known what he looked like and that it would upset Emily so? And why would she use those words? Emily felt like it was beyond strange. It felt impossible. Did it even happen? Was she losing her mind? Man, who knows? Who knows? That girl is crazy as hell. Okay, we are going to open that door just in a moment. We took that. I don't know why we took it. I think it's one of the collectibles that we took it before. The game is not actually saving that. Well, this has been cleared for us, so let's just go out. You'll probably need to... Oh! He has a key. The first floor hall key. Oh, wow. I I'll just seen borrow that. these. Yeah, yeah, thank you. At least he's breathing. I'll just let him sleep it off. Yeah, that's the thing. Hmm, there's something missing. Oh, wow. Okay, it gave us a map. Caribbean? Are we going to the Caribbean? No, it's just a collectible. Ooh, one of those drinks. Meaning that there must be a fight nearby. Yeah, I don't know why these rooms are still red even though... Maybe... Oh! Okay, Cassandra's last page. Jeremy knew that the only one who could help him now was the guest in room number three. The room seemed to have been empty for so long, but that wasn't allowed to be true. The story needed to be different. To include something from the outside, he would bring the guest back to room three and show them what was in that safe. Nine, one, three. But those were not the right numbers. That was the combination for the safe in the clerk's office. Yeah, I already figured that out, actually. <laughs> Alright. Uh, checking on this. Movie script. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Death of the author. So we've got the typewriter reborn. The broken spectacles. Basically, glasses and the movie script. What did you expect from them? You created too much. There wasn't any room to breathe. Your reification rendered all possible worlds void. You took everything they could imagine and constrained it into something that you didn't even care about. Or maybe you did. Perhaps you cared the most of all. Maybe you tried to save them from themselves. And that is why you had to die. Well, let's see then. I think we finished here in this room, right? Well, I don't think... Yeah, these are all to go, all good together. I am pumped. What the hell I'm trying to say? Yeah, let's just go. You took. Well, the key is for the first floor, right? Yeah, this has to be like all set for us. All is good. He's still sleeping. No, I let him sleep. What do you want me to do to him? We need to go down. This is this feels like a dinosaur. I don't know. Yeah, so we have two keys, I think. The stairwell key, and we have the first floor. So we need to go to the very first floor. Stuttering is something that I noticed that happens in certain parts in the game. So I'm not going to really worry about this. I'll try my best to show you the best footage, but in case. Saturn, it's not my problem. This should be it. Wow. No. no way. Run. Is he coming here? I'm 
not sure, is he coming here? Yeah, we do have the weapons. Like, is he really coming here? think so okay oh yeah so we have certain rooms I hope it's not or he's not okay that's empty there's nothing over there what do we have over here around these areas nice paintings I love those all right so we have a moment of clarity sometimes I think this place makes me worse. That Dossetto might be my grave. A coffin made of ostentatious architecture. A Taj Mahal for the drunken depressed. There's something about Dossetto. Something about Dr. Gray. Like we all pretend that we're here to get better. When in fact we are here to be forgotten. You could be right, my friend. You could be right. So we open this. There is nothing. So moments of clarity. This room has been cleared. It's blue on the map. So everything is good. The stuttering is something that I really have to get used to. I play other games as well. And that's the problem because they don't have stuttering. Except for this one. The fact that the update has a ton of like... Chicken bite and everything, I can't really... Ruth, are you there? No, of course not. I can't deal with updating the game with that much. I don't have even space for it, so we'll just be in the game as it is. War photo. Ruth seems like that lady. She's like living hundreds of thousands of years. Well, I can't. I don't have Ruth's camera. I don't have any film to be put there maybe that's something for later oh henry's castle's zoetrope what the castle hell built the zoetrope as an exercise in animation he is very interested in moving pictures and has even ordered an aeroscope camera for the colony i'm looking forward to seeing what kind of phantasmagoria he will produce for now his zoetrope entertains me greatly it's not the little man passing his head, while quite humorous. It's the spell of that flickering light as it rotates. I swear, it takes me back to my childhood in a most profound way. This is like the, the Pirates of... Uh, I don't know, what the hell is that? It's not the Pirate of the Caribbean, of course. But it is something. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, we have nothing. Okay. So there is a puzzle there. It's not a puzzle, it's this camera. We need a film. We need something to open up that. And that's for later. Let's just move on. I hope my voice is clear because I have been sick a little bit lately. Uh, for you guys, if you really want to try the game on, on your own PC without stuttering, you can actually use uh, a gaming service called why you're closing the door on me yeah I'm not going into that yet clouds I know you need a key but don't I have the key yeah boost rate is something that you can actually use it on your own normal PC what is going on here what the hell how did we move from that to this all you need is a good service, uh, like a good connection. If you have a good connection, that's all what you need. And for that, you can use Booster Aid. Links will be in the description below. I hope I'm going to link that from now on. I'm not sure, man. Don't have the time to actually make any kind of. Alright, so. Hmm. Okay. This is lovely. This is where we met with Ruth the other day. This might be in the same video. I'm not really sure, but all I know... This music is lovely. Everything is good. Some 
I don't know why the game is giving... Okay, I know exactly why the game is giving us so many bullets. It's because it's almost going to be a fight. Alright, so there is one way there. There is also this door. Is it something that we can... No, we cannot interact here. I think that's the only option that we have. By the way, where are... We? Oh, okay. So that empty room... We're not able to actually enter to Is this something that... Are we really... Yeah, we need to go down. Yeah, I think we do have the key now. Man, now things are getting to be weird. And to be honest, I'm not ready for boss fight. Like, I'm still a little bit sick. I'm still trying to get over this sickness. It's the summer... <laughs> okay. Yeah, the summertime sickness, so... Some people must have it. I'm sure not all of you guys have that kind of, you know... It only happens to me once. From what the hell are we inside? What is this? A skull? Scapegoat. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know about this man. Of course, we need the key there. We're we're running out. I need the key. Uh What the hell is going on? What's happening? Let's just take this. I don't know what's going on. Radiograph. Oh, radiograph. Okay, key item. It's a uh, capture of brain grimed by unsettling darkness. Well, I think I'm gonna use this. Do we have a map here? Oh, we are. But where are we? It's not showing on the thing. Is it showing here? It's library. Oh, we are inside. Okay, I think. Yeah, we are at the very bottom. But anyways, this is weird. Okay, the only thing left is this one. I'm not really ready for any kind of skill. On a radiography no Radiography. Patient Jeremy Hartwood. Date June 14, 1930. Plates. Jeremy's skull proved difficult to capture properly. Partial radiographs worked best. A complete picture of the brain can be assembled by piecing three plates together. Observations. Even when looking at an assembled version, a shadow covers significant parts of Jeremy's brain. Possible tumor, but more likely that the equipment is failing. Jeremy reacted strongly to the pictures and claimed to see a giant clay worm eating and displacing his memories. Notes. While this exercise has left me nowhere closer to an answer, I feel confident that a Burkhart lobotomy should sever all necessary parts. Interesting. Hmm. So we do we did find one. We need like two more. Okay, it's if all else fails. Hypothetical psychosurgery based on the ideas by Burkhart and the St. Petersburg research could end up saving Jeremy's mind. Severing the connections around the frontal lobe would certainly solve most mental afflictions. The procedure would be brutal in performance as well as in efficiency. An ice pick pushed through the edge of the eye and into the skull would untether the nerves like Alexander cutting the Gordian knot. 
as this would likely leave Jeremy in a very different condition, all other paths should first be explored. The medical instrument I would need for this lobotomy is missing and I should have Waits order a new one. Hmm, interesting. So this is how they used to do surgery in the, in the, in the past. Lovely, lovely, lovely to hear that. Nice to know that. Okay. Electrical fuse. Oh, we need that. So this spare fuse can help regulate electrical power when inserted into a fuse box. Probably here, but let us take these first. We've got the radiograph number two. We need one more, right? We have the surgery room key. Okay. Let's just put this here. Electrical thing. Are we good? I think we're good. Surgery. I don't know where the sur surgery would be. Probably. Wait a minute. We do have a map. Why the hell am quarantine? Surgery. Probably this one. Yeah. It's this one. Come on. Ah. Okay, we found another fuse box. What's this? I don't know what is this. I think it's one of those uh, things that uh, actually record things, you know, things for reco a recorder, whatever you want to call it. Where the hell I am inside? Like I, I don't understand. We opened it. <coughs> Sorry, I told you I'm sick. Like it's red, but I don't know what the hell is going on. All I know is that I need to go back. Put this there. Oh. Oh wow, wait a minute. So we have two and three. Uh, clip. Ah, so one. Okay, I think I understand. Yep. Oh, that's better. Dr. Grace seemed to put a lot of effort into understanding and treating Jeremy. Did he find anything useful? Or was it all for show? An excuse to torture him? No matter what Emily thought. Maybe she could follow his work to some conclusion about the steps stipulated in the contract. Well, I guess that's the only thing logical now. Alright, so now the map is actually updating because now we can see our player position. So this place... Oh, wait a minute. Oh... Right, I think I found the solution. I think I found the solution. This should be going on the bottom because if you really notice and pay attention on the writing, you'll find that it does. It has to go to the very bottom. And this uh, then correspond with this. I mean, I found that this is the only thing. It has to be. And probably, I think, I think this one. Because this is the closest. Yeah. Yeah, would you look at that? And now we have an insect. Jeremy's darkness. What the hell? Jeremy's darkness. A broken piece of burnt clay. Science suggests it's it being a part of a statue. Well, I don't know what kind of statue. I haven't seen any kind of statue like that before. Have I really? Well, we finished here. Here's the thing. Yeah, laboratory is finished. Mm. There has to be something else over here. Ooh. 
Well, 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 well. Here's the thing. I'm going to open this. It's closed. Of course, these two need key. Well, I'm pretty sure this was open before, haven't? Well, none of these are open. Okay. So the only thing is going up. Wait a minute. This wasn't like this before. Oh god, this has changed. <gasps> okay, water. Oh, oh. Oh, I need to go up. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, it's going fast, so fast. Oh, oh god. Come on! Run, Emily! Emily, please run! Uh, oh, yeah! Of course! Emily, run, please! Oh my god, another one! I don't know when we can make it. I don't know why I really don't. Was that a dream? <laughs> open, open, open! Stupid. I guess I never got a chance to look around this place. Yep, this is our first time. We're actually looking at this place. Definitely the first time. I can't do anything about that. It's not allowing me to actually interact with it. It's an interesting game. Oh wow. Okay. I guess we'll take in this collectible as well. Man, the chase is so cool. Yep, a little bit of stuttering here and there. It's totally fine. What? Okay. Yep, it has to be like this. Are we supposed to rotate them? Well, at least there is no rotation, right? Found it. No, 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 no. Don't tell me this is one of those. Okay, it's one, four, six. But how the hell you want me to actually know this? It's one four six. I got back to you. Yeah, let's just me go and check other places. What's this? Another drink. I like when she's like, "What's this? What's that? What's those?" Yeah, we are going to try the thing. Where is it? You go here. You go to the option gameplay. I'm also called to mother because I really don't understand this one. So it's one four six, right? One four. And it's one four six, right? One four six. Unless it's like here is one four in the middle, and the last one should be six. Yeah. Oh, there is something down there uh, downstairs. Okay. Well, have I skipped the thing? I feel like I skipped something. I'm not sure. I feel like I skipped something that was supposed to happen. Oh, we need to go down. 